Okay, now, today, we're gonna start getting into area, all right, and doing some more volume work, all right, and uh, perimeter. Right now, we're gonna mention the circle, all right? What's the distance around the circle called? Uh, Circumference, that is correct. So at the top, listen, very, very simple. All right, let's review information. This is called the circle. What I'm gonna do now is I'm drawing from the center to the circle. What is that called? That is called the radius. Thank you very much. And then if I draw, a segment through the center whose endpoints is on the circle, that's called the what? No, what's that called right there? The diameter, thank you. That is the diameter. The distance around the circle is called the what? That is definitely called the circumference, that is correct. The distance around is called the circumference. All right. Now they were able to figure out a formula for the distance around. Do you remember? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. So what's the formula for circumference? Does everybody remember? Circumference equals pi times what? What? Yes, very good. You have a choice. It can be pi times the diameter or two pi r. Those are your options. All right, those are your options. Two pi r or pi times the diameter. Why is that true? Because the radius and the diameter, look at the relation between the radius and the diameter. Every diameter has what? How many radii? Two. two. All right, so the diameter is always equal to two times the radius. So everybody write that down. The diameter, the diameter is always two times the radius. The diameter is always two times the radius, all right? Now again, uh, we are not writing just the answer. I'm writing the what? Formula. The reason we're writing the formula is because I'm trying to get it into your brain. All right, I'm trying to get it into your brain. All right, so here we go. All right, number one. What's the for formula for circumference? Pi times the diameter. You agree with that? Can you use two pi r if you want? Yeah, it's no problem. All right. But right now, I want nine to represent. What does nine represent? The radius. So I want r equals nine. So if the radius is nine, the diameter would be what? 18. All right. So now I want everybody to go c equals pi times 18. Now, everybody has a pi button on their calculator. You're going to use that button. We're not going to use 3.14. We're going to use the pi button on the calculator. So hit pi times 18. And it says round to the nearest tenth, but we always round to three decimal places in math. Round to three decimal places. So what do I have here? 5.6.2. Fifty-six point five four eight. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah. And then, of course, it's a link, so you're going to put meters down. I want everybody to put meters down. Now, in a minute, I'm just going to go around the room, and everybody's going to answer a question. Yes. It. it you're just going to have to look. Look at every button. You see what I'm saying? All right. Anybody have any questions with number one? KK, how you doing, kiddo? Um, 
You know, did you get that number? Well, did you find pi on the calculator now? Yeah. All right. So I want you to do pi times 18. Okay. So now we're going to start over there. KK, number three. I want you to write formula circumference equals pi times D. So number three, what is the di what's the diameter in number three, KK? No, but I'm asking, look at number three. Question number three. Oh, okay, I know, we're doing the odds. Okay, yes. No, what? no. This, now, this is what I'm trying to show you. This all the way across is the diameter. That's how you tell the difference. Look at the first one. On the first one, it only went halfway, so that's the what? What's this one over here? That is correct. So I want you to do pi times what? And what's the diameter? Yes. And then round to three decimal places. Give me one more decimal. Yes. Anybody else get 9.425? Molly, you happy? All right, everybody take a look at number five. Now they just don't draw it. Oh, by the way, we want to put the units. I didn't put yards down. All right, Molly, number five, what am I doing? Yes, pi times 14, perfect. You okay with that? And then don't forget the units. Lush. All right, number seven. Here we go. Jolie. Yes. Twenty six point. And then what units? Good. All right, I'm happy with that. Number nine, here we go. That is correct. Anybody else get 20.106? Avery, how are you doing so far? Yeah. All right, you're on number 11. What do I do? Yep. Yeah. Eighteen point. Are you using the pi button on your calculator? Or are you using three point one four? So I need three decimal places. Eight four what? I'm happy with that. No, I want three decimal places. Ashley, number thirteen. Say it again. And then units, units. All right, 15. Read it, go. A basketball ball is 18 inches in diameter. A basketball has a diameter of 9.6 inches. Okay. A basketball has a diameter of 9.6 inches. Okay. A basketball What are you thinking?
Tell me what to do first. No, no, no. Because listen to me. It wants the difference in the circumference. So we need to find the circumference of this. So what's the circumference of that? Yes, and tell me what that is. All right, then I need the circumference of the basketball. Good. So now the difference would be what? It's 56.548 minus 30.159, right? Yeah. And what does that answer? Anybody have any issues with that? Hey, Kay, do you know, did you hear what I said? Do you know what we're doing? All right, you found the circumference of the basketball goal and the circumference of the basketball, and then you subtracted them. All right, Cole, you're on 17. Wait a minute, I'm on 17. Okay, so this one is the first one now, all right, in which you have to do some thinking. All right, so I need everyone to try to think about this, but Cole's going to tell us first. What are you thinking, Cole? Say it again. Well, I'm, I'm, I think I'm okay with that. But what I want everybody to do is I want everybody to draw a bowling lane. All right, in a bowling lane, we could draw with what shape? A rectangle, thank you, whoever said that. So we're gonna come right down here and we're gonna draw a rectangle. All right, and that looks like a bowling lane. And then that bowling lane would be how many feet long? 60 feet. Anybody have any questions with that? All right, now, we have a bowling ball. So I'm gonna represent a bowling ball. I'm just gonna blow it up a little bit so we can see it. There's the bowling ball. All right, and it tells me that the bowling ball has a radius of 4.3 inches. So I want everybody to do 4.3 inches. Now, What's gonna happen is, watch me now, everybody. I'm gonna take this bowling ball, I'm gonna start it right here, and I'm gonna spin it around. And I'm gonna spin it around one time. How far down the lane did it go? If it rolls one time, how far down the lane did it go? Tell me. So in other words, it went from here to here. How far did it go? Why do you think 20 feet? Why do you think 15? Well, no, my figure's not drawn to scale. It's not drawn accurately. What do you think, Cole? 8.6 what? No. It, it that's no listen to me now all right eyes up eyes up eyes up eyes up what is this distance from here to here i need everybody to understand that is the same as this distance right here what is that distance the circumference so when you roll a ball if it goes around one time it's going one circumference. Does everybody hear me? 
So what is the circumference of the bowling ball, Cole? I need you to tell me. Yes, pi times 8.6, which is? Inches. The problem is I have how many feet? And I can't do the problem because I've got feet and inches. So what do I want to do with the 60 feet, Cole? And how many inches in a foot? Yes, I, excellent. So I want everybody to go 60 times 12, bless you. And how many inches is that, please, Cole? So it's 720 inches. So how many times does the ball roll down the lane? How do I figure that out? Yes, what am I, Cole, that's very good. What do I divide? You are amazing, that is correct. 720 divided by the circumference, which was 27.017, and that's approximately, how many times down does it take? Hold on, I'm listening to Cole. About 27 point what? No, but I want you to tell me 26, we're gonna round 26 to three decimal places. Right. Guys, that's very, very, very difficult. Very difficult. Cole, does that make sense now? Yeah. KK, again, you hearing me, KK? One revolution is the same as one circumference. Yeah. So when you want to find out how many times the ball rolled down the lane, you calculate the circumference and you divide the distance by the circumference, and that will tell you how many times it rolled down the lane. Molly, how's that? Jolie, you, you with me? Cole, that was very good. All right, now again, guys, that's what you should be drawing, the physical representation. No one just looks and says, that's obviously what we do. All right? Hopefully that made sense. All right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this down and I'm gonna put it in that area for question number 17. All right. Now 19, Jackson. That's after 17, odd, yes. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely have to backtrack. So everybody's going to draw the trampoline. I know everybody knows what a trampoline is. So we're going to draw a trampoline. All right, here's our trampoline. And now, here's the center of my trampoline. And then Jenna's dad lays on the trampoline. Now, what does Jenna's dad represent? Shh, Jackson. They're very smart, buddy. I like that. Jenna's dad represents the radius. That's exactly right. Exactly. Okay. So now we know that the circumference of the trampoline is what? Let him answer. 41 feet. So what's the formula for circumference? Pi times diameter. All right. So what's the circumference right now in this problem of the trampoline? So 41 is equal to pi times D. So now what do I have to do to solve this? Come on now, we're ready for algebra now. How do I solve this equation? I'm trying to find D. Yeah, 41 divided by pi, very good. So I want everybody write down D 
equals 41 divided by pi. And then tell me what that is. Jackson is. Let him, 41 divided by pi. You told me what to do. Come on, Jackson. Thirteen point oh five one. Now that is the diameter, but we said he represents the what? So what do I have to do with that number? Yes, and now we divide that by two. And so he is approximately what? Six point what? Six point five two five feet. Yes, he's about six and a half feet. Okay, listen, Jolie, go. Hey. Yeah, I don't care. That's why I say round to three decimal places. If you say 6.525 and I say 6.526, everybody knows how to round. And if you don't know how to round, you're supposed to ask me. So if we're off a little bit, I don't really care on the test. Or I really don't. All right? If you can't round, we rounded, started rounding in second grade. All right? Hey, I want you to stop talking. All right, does anybody have any questions with her dad or Jenna's dad is 6.525 feet? All right, here we go. 21, you get to read. Go, Zeb. Yeah. Okay, so now again, I'm all I'm doing is I'm looking at 21. Now I kind of know what we're looking at. I'm creating a goal, right? So here's my goal, right? And back here, obviously, is the back where the net is. Everybody agree with that? Right? So your objective is to take the ball and kick it into the net. Do we agree? All right. Now it says that it's 24 feet wide. So this is 24 feet. And then I have a ball. And this ball is circumference is 28 inches. So the circumference is 28 inches. The question is, how many of these soccer balls can I fit side by side so they go all the way across the goal? You see, that's what I'm trying to figure out, correct? So now how would I do that? Now don't say five. Don't say five. Because that's obviously not drawn to scale. So how would I how would I figure this out? No. 24, I definitely need to convert to inches though. So how do I convert 24 feet into inches? How many feet, how many inches in a foot? Come on, 12 inches in a foot. So if I have 24 feet, how many inches do I have to do? Yes. Yeah, come on, think about it. If I have 24 feet, each foot has how many inches in it? 12. So if I have 24 feet, how do I figure that out? Yes, 12 times 24. Yes, so there's 288 inches. Now the problem I'm having is, I, I, I wanna, uh, I'm gonna paste this, all right? Now here's the soccer ball. You with me? And it's all the way around is 28 inches. I don't care about that. What do I care about? Yeah, but what do I need in order to figure that out? Yes, the radius, but more importantly, not the radius, but yeah, I need the diameter. Because look, if I can find this length all the way across, 
then I can calculate how many of them I'll need to do 288 inches, do you agree? So what's the formula for circumference? Equals? Yes, pi times the diameter. What's the circumference of our soccer ball? So how do I figure out what the diameter is? Yes, so divide, tell me what the diameter is. Do you do 28 divided by pi or pi divided by 28? And what is that? Eight point nine one two inches. So each soccer ball is eight point one nine two inches. So how many soccer balls will I be able to fit across the goal if it's two hundred eighty eight inches across? This is 288 inches, watch me. From here to here is 288. So how many of these soccer balls will I be able to fit across the goal? How do I do that? Come on. No. No, it's the same principle as the other bowling ball or as the bowling ball problem. Right, this guy right here. You take the distance and you divide it by the circumference. That tells you how many times you with me. So in this case, we're going to take the distance, which was how many inches? No, we're going to take 288 and we're going to divide it by what? That's exactly right. So divide that and tell me. Thirty five point what? One five six soccer balls. Everybody with me on this? We'll fit across the goal post. That's a lot. All right. So distance divided by the circumference gives you the number of revolutions. All right. Hopefully I'm making sense. All right, Tyler, you're up. I have the diagonal geometry in the back row. I need to add the width of the tree mark that color is eight around the sun. The tree has a diameter of 1.129. What length of space is needed? What do you do? So the tree is 1.2, has a diameter of 1.2. So I do two. Right. I'm, I'm thinking that's exactly what you should do. Draw a tree. All right. Here's my tree. All right. And then, of course, we did a tree like this. Right? And the diameter is what? Right. The diameter is 1.1. So then the distance around is called the what? Circumference. That's right. So circumference is what formula? It's, it's in this case, it's going to be 1.1 times pi. 1.1 times pi. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Which is approximately? It's going to be 3.45. Bless you. And that would be feet. feet. All right. 3.455 feet. All right. Not like my feet. Yeah, I don't know what a gypsy moth caterpillar tape is. I don't know what that is, but. All right, number 25, here we go. So I'm starting with KK, read. 25, we're doing odds, KK. All right, so here's what we got. Here's a tank, all right? And that tank has a radius of six feet. So everybody's drawing our tank. 
and the radius is six. All right. Now we have to be able to keep everyone safe. So they want to build a fence around it. Right. And the fence, they say, there's going to be a walkway between the fence and the tank. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw another circle. And then we're going to say that this right here is how many? That distance, hold on, let me make it thicker. This distance is going to be the walkway around the tank. How far is that distance? No, this is six from here to here, kiddo. Four, right? So this is four. Now, how much fencing? Uh oh, did I make a mistake? Go, Joey. Because it says the radius of the tank is six feet, and the walkway between the tank and the fence is four feet. Do you agree with that? The question is I'm building a fence now. This is the fence that's going to go around my tank. You with me, KK? So if that's my fence, they're asking me how much fence do I need? And that I just drew is called the what? What does that around mean? What word? Yes, it is the circumference of that circle. So how do I find the circumference? What's the formula for circumference? Look on your notes. We've been doing it this whole time. Circumference is a formula. What was our formula for circumference? Look back at the very first thing we did. I said the circumference is this. Times. KK, I don't know why you don't have that written down. At the very front, this is what I wrote right here. This information is vital. So what's the circumference, KK? Circumference is what? I don't know why you're so confused. We've done it 13 times. How do you find the circumference? What formula? Say it again. No, that's not what that says, KK. What's that letter stand for? What is this? What is this? What is D? Pi times the diameter. Circumference is pi times the diameter. Can you write that down? So circumference is pi times the diameter. Now you have to look up. I need you to try to tell me what is the radius of this circle? What's the radius right now? Well, okay. I didn't ask for that. I said, what's the radius from here to here is how much KK? 10. So the diameter would be what? Now say 20. Yes. So the diameter of that circle is equal to 20. So what's the circumference of the circle? No. The diameter is 20. How do you find the circumference? Point what? 
832, and that would be feet of fence. That's what you need, which is the same as pi times 20. All right, come on, KK. A lot of work for you still. 62.832 feet. All right, does everybody see that was kind of tricky, right? So the word problems can be a little bit tricky. All right, now your job is to knock out the what? I know. So what are you going to be doing? Which is the evens. Your job now is to do the evens. All right, and I'm going to check them right when you get into work, into class tomorrow. And then especially what's important, the word problems. All right, one through 14 are super easy. The important ones are the word problems. So I want you spending some time on those. Try to draw them out if you don't know them. All right, it's not doing any good to write them down. Just writing down my information that I'm putting on the board is not helpful. You got to try now. Everybody get to work. What? What? Well, I, I would probably say you're going to be wrong, but um, I, I would, it, I, I'm not arguing with you. I, I don't think it's necessary to draw a picture. I'm just saying most people at this stage need to draw what? A picture. All right. If I can teach you to draw a picture, I can teach you much better math. All right, most people can't see things very clearly. Doesn't even have to be a good picture. All right, now please get to work on this. All right, get to work. 